up guys so knives out is the new film written and directed by ryan johnson and uh it stars a whole bunch of people that you know it stars jamie lee curtis chris evans christopher Plummer, michael shannon tony collette Jaden Lieberher from the It movies. There is a lot of people in this movie. And uh, it's a murder mystery. It's the Who Done It, the new Who Done It by Ryan Johnson. Can he redeem himself since The Last Jedi? Can he redeem himself? I know a lot of people didn't really care for that movie. And personally, for me, I didn't love it, but I liked it. I think it's a Star Wars movie, and as a film on its own, it, it has a lot of problems. Uh, and did he redeem himself? Yes, he did. Gosh darn it. I definitely think that this is a very positive movie. It's a very good movie. And I think that mainly that has to do with the direction by Ryan Johnson. He directs this movie so well. He's a very good director. So you want about him as a writer, but he's a very good director. Uh, you know, and, and, and with this movie, which he also wrote, I think the first and second act of this movie are really good from a writing standpoint as well, and a directing standpoint. But the third act of the film, without giving away any spoilers, obviously, uh, there is a lot to unpack here with the third act of the movie. Uh, a lot of the criticisms with The Last Jedi, there was one video that went up on YouTube uh, that someone made about The Last Jedi, <clears throat> and basically there was a segment where, you know, scene after scene, it was like, gotcha, 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 gotcha. You know, about all sorts of stuff that happened in that movie. I think in The Last Jedi, it's like that in the whole film. And like this, it's like that just in the third act. But it's an overload of it in the third act. Uh, when you start to see things unfold and unravel, you know, it's like Ryan Johnson finally was like, Oh, finally, I get to subvert your expectations. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you think that's how it goes? Well, guess what? Gotcha. When this is the part of the movie that, that you should be, you know, finally rewarding us for the first two halves of the movie and tell us what's going on. But really, all he continues to do is continue to gotcha, 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 surprise you till the very end. And you finally realize what's going on and the way it ends. Is it satisfying? I don't know. I don't know. I knew exactly, you know, what they were going for, what he was going for. But did it work for me 100%? I don't know. This is a film that you have to rewatch, at least for me. If I want to completely understand exactly, you know, every single step and what happened, there's a lot of steps. It's like step one, step two, step three. Daniel Craig steals the movie. He's fantastic. Everybody else is great as well, though. Everybody else is fantastic in this movie. And I really can't wait to see it again. Uh, I, I liked it that much. And then maybe maybe the third act will work a little better for me, you know? It's just like, if you wanted to coherently explain what happened at the end of this movie, you have to be a genius. I'm going to give Knives Out 4 out of 5 stars. This is a very good movie, and I did really enjoy it. Guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. Did you see this? Do you want to see it? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, what are your thoughts about Ryan Johnson as a filmmaker? Comment down, down below. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I just posted my review for 21 Bridges. Yesterday, I posted my reviews for Frozen 2 and A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Those are all up on this channel. Uh, guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at King Rises 131 and guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Knives Out. Over and out. I think you have something you want to tell me. Yes!